Hi Sagittarius, this is going to be a general love reading for May 2021 for your Sun, Moon, Rising and your Venus signs. And it is general, so it's not going to resonate for all of you, but you can check out one of your other signs, one of your person's other signs, or you can get a personal reading. And all that information is in the description box. Also keep in mind that the roles can be reversed. So let's see what is going on with Sagittarius, first half of May. 2021. All right, we have nostalgia and we have fear. All right, so it could be that... I actually feel like it's the same person who feels nostalgia. This is a person who is also holding on to some kind of fear or has a fear concerning the, the connection. Um, but for some of you, it could be that there's one person feeling the nostalgia and the other person feeling fear. Okay, so take it as it makes sense for you. Let's see what's going on. Alright, Sagittarius for May. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Alright, so for the situation, we have the Hermit crossed by the Two of Cups. Alright, so there's definitely love here, alright? Um, but it feels like somebody is keeping their distance and that could be why there's this nostalgia. Um, I do feel like it is actually related to the person, as I said, who is also holding on to fear. So it could be that somebody is really going deep within, really soul searching, trying to figure something out within this connection, finding themselves, but at the same time withholding their energy from the outside world as well, or at least from, from the other person in this connection. Um, there's definitely love here, but it feels like, you know, there's an issue with this love actually coming together. Let's see the recent past. We have the Ace of Cups and near future we have the Hanged Man. Yeah, so there was definitely a lot of love that's showing up again here in the, in the recent past. Um, I feel like there's definitely a very, very strong bond between the two of you and there was a point in time where you both really felt this very, very strongly. And I'm not saying that you don't now or that they don't now. I just feel like it's being withheld in some way. All right, now with the hanged man being here in the near future, um, it could be that, you know, things are moving a little bit slowly, things are taking some time. I do feel like this hanged man is actually coming from this energy of the, the hermit, which is in the present. And it's that this deep soul searching is actually leading somebody to see things from a different perspective. But as they do that, they're kind of just staying in the situation, taking a step back and just kind of observing it, but from a different perspective than, than they were doing so before. Let's see for you, we have the Six of Swords. For them, we have the Seven of Cups. More about you here is the Five of Cups. For them, the lovers, potential outcome, we have the Queen of Pentacles, and a message for you here is the Ace of Swords. All right. So, it's interesting that you have the Six of Swords as well as the Five of Cups, because you are moving in a more positive direction. I feel like you are trying to leave certain aspects of this connection behind or possibly um, at least open up that, that possibility or that opportunity for there to be something else. Um, that something else, it doesn't necessarily have to be another love connection, but I feel like you're just trying to leave some old baggage behind when it comes to this connection, possibly just trying to get yourself to a more um, peaceful state. And I do see you doing that. I do see you being um, on the road to that. However, you're still grieving um, this connection. And I can see why. 
um, like I said, there was a lot of there's a lot of love here. I'm, I feel like it's on both ends, and and it just feels like you know you're you're almost like you're forcing yourself to move in that direction because you're you're also feeling very sad about it. Like there's this sadness, disappointment. Um, it's very difficult for you at the moment to to release the past, and for them. Well, they have the seven of cups and the lovers, so they're definitely they're definitely still feeling that connection with you. They're still feeling that love. Um, I mean, we have three cards that are like the strongest love cards in the deck, and all three are out here on the table, right? The ace of cups, the two of cups, and the lovers. This person is a little bit confused. Um, I feel like they're just feeling a little bit lost as to exactly what it is that they need to do or what they want to do. Um, it could be that their judgment is being clouded at the moment, possibly having a lot of distractions in their outer life. We'll see when we clarify. Um, yeah, I do see things moving towards truth though. We have the Ace of Swords also as a message for you and I do feel like that is action based on truth. So I do feel like that is something that is surrounding this connection. And with the Queen of Pentacles, we will clarify, but I do see that, I actually see that as you really being able to finally ground yourself and to really see things from a more practical perspective, maybe even having some, some understanding, like a deeper understanding about this connection here with this person, what that means for you. Um, I do also see it as stability, and so it could that could even be just this whole connection moving along those lines, just becoming more more nurturing. Let's clarify and see. So let me clarify the, the Hermit with the Two of Cups here for this situation. Alright, we have the Four of Swords and we have Death. Yeah, you know, so it does feel like, like there has been an ending here of some sort. And I do feel like you're both missing each other, all right, with that nostalgia and the fear. And I do also get actually that I actually feel like this is both of these first cards, nostalgia and fear, both apply to the both of you. Um, you both have nostalgia for each other and I feel like you both have a little bit of fear um, for where this might, might um, lead to, where this connection might end up, where it might go, what's next. I feel like you're both in that energy. Um, you feel like there has been an ending and I feel like, you know, there's a lot of healing that is required at this point in time and I feel like that is happening, all right, with that hermit. That's why there's this deep soul searching and I actually feel like that also is for the both of you. Um, it could be that one of you withdrew their energy more so than the other initially, but I feel like that actually is causing the both of you to go deep within yourselves and heal certain aspects that need to be healed concerning this connection. And those aspects are going to be different for each of you. It's different aspects for them and it's different aspects for you. Um, but I feel like whatever this is, you know, this separation, this ending, it's something that is needed in order for this healing to take place, especially if you are meant to come back together because then your bond will be even stronger. You will both be very, um, secure within your own selves, which could also be that Queen of Pentacles here and the potential outcome. Just really having, the Queen of Pentacles does not hold on to fear. Um, she's very confident within her own self, within her own body. She knows her self-worth, she nurtures her own self, and she knows that she is okay no matter what. And I feel like, yeah, that, that is what this healing is leading you towards. And that is something that is needed, regardless of whether you come back with this person or not. All right, <clears throat> let's let's see the six of swords in your energy. All right, we 
have the Ace of Wands and the Three of Wands. Yeah, I, you know, it feels like you, you, like I said, you're moving yourself towards this calmer state of being. You're trying to find this peace. And to you, you know, it feels like it's just something really, really new. Um, and I feel like you're doing it very reluct reluctantly because there's a sense of disappointment here that you, you know, because you're still kind of waiting to see if this person would come around or if this connection is going to have a different outcome or what is the outcome going to be? Is there going to be this um, coming back together with that Ace of Wands and have a new beginning together? And I feel like, you know, you're, you're in this process of moving, trying to move forward, you're trying to leave that behind because you've been waiting for so long or because you just didn't see the um, outcome that you had hoped for. Let's see the Five of Cups. All right, the Queen of Cups and the King of Pentacles. Yeah, you know, I feel like you... You have a lot of deep emotions, a lot of deep emotions for this person. And this is something that you would have really wanted with them, this King of Pentacles. You would have really wanted this... Um, commitment, stability, like to be, like this is the person that you feel like you would want that um, forever after type of a relationship. And this is why it is so um, distressing for you to try to leave it behind and to move and to move forward. You know, I just feel like You're, it's, this is helping you to heal though, um, no matter how difficult that might sound. Um, I feel like you, you know, you are trusting your intuition and just moving in that direction, knowing that if this is meant to be, it will, you know, uh, or knowing that, you know, it, it's, it can't just be one sided, you know, um, you might want this, the other person might want this, but you know, if you're putting in that effort, well, they have to play their part as well. And I feel like, yeah, you know, you might be disappointed that maybe they didn't, but you still have to follow your intuition and move forward regardless. And trust that, you know, you will have that stability at some point, whether it be with this person or not, because we do have the, both the King of Pentacles as well as the Queen of Pentacles here. And so I do see that in your potential. Um, and I know, you know, if you if you are really, you know, um, feeling like this is your person, you don't, you might not care to have that with anyone else. And I'm not saying it will be with anyone else. I'm not <laughs> specifying. I'm just saying. All right. So let's see what's going on with them. Let's see the seven of cups here. Right, we have the Magician, we have the Chariot, and we have the Three of Pentacles. Here's the thing, this person wants to manifest, I feel, this connection with you. All right, um, There is something that they want to do here. They do have a lot of drive. I feel like they're just really confused as to how this can be manifested. I don't know what their situation is. It's going to be different for all of you, but there's, for some of them with this Three of Pentacles, it could be that there's another contract um, standing in the way as a barrier, which they might be having a hard time breaking in order to come forward. I feel like this is a situation where they feel like they don't have much control, um, that it, 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 it feels like it's, it's out of their hands. 
and it, it's not. It doesn't mean that that's really true. I feel like that's actually an illusion here. That's why we have the Seven of Cups. But I feel like there's a lot of external factors here playing out, um, possibly involving other people, third parties. Doesn't necessarily have to be um, a relationship, a romantic relationship. It can be any type of a situation where they feel like this is actually, um, I don't know, there are things playing out within that dynamic that is either serving as a distraction for them and it's just feeling overwhelming, um, even though at the same time they do want to manifest movement, they do want to find this control, but I feel like they're having a hard time um, doing that and a part of that might be that they don't really believe in themselves they don't really feel like they have what it takes in order to overcome that challenge or they just don't know how and i feel like they might be looking at you know different options um, playing out different scenarios and it just confuses them more um But like I said, I do feel like with that hanged man, things, they will be able to see something in a different, from a different perspective because there is that soul searching here. Let's see the lovers from them. Because they have those emotions for you too. I mean, they have the lovers here, so let's see. King of Wands and the Four of Cups. There's a lot of passion here. There's a lot of drive. This is a person who really wants to manifest you um, and manifest this connection. They want to manifest this love into their lives, but I feel like they're just being pretty passive about it. Um, again, it just it almost feels like this person might even be in a state of depression maybe for some of them or just really feeling like there's nothing they can do and because they don't know what to do because there's just so much going on um so many distractions or just their their judgment is just being clouded as to what the best option would be here um when i say option i'm not saying that you're an option i'm saying that just the option to go about resolving whatever this issue is um that they decide to just not do anything. And I feel like that's kind of what their energy is at the moment, even though they're 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 feeling this drive. Um, and so I do feel like that is, that is moving in the direction of, of um, changing, because the King of Wands really overcomes obstacles. And I feel like part of the obstacle is to actually get out of a rut, because I feel like they're in a rut. And I feel that it's because of the strength of this connection that they feel that they want to overcome that, that rut and get out of it, overcome those challenges. So I do see them being in that energy of beginning at least, beginning to find that strength within themselves to come out of this passive rut of not doing anything, of it's like the way I'm thinking. it's like here it is the seven of cups here right it's like here are all these cups and it's like i don't know which one to go for how do i which path to take in order to get to where i want i don't know how to do it and because of that when one is offered to me and i you know like here's the solution i'm just gonna say no i'm just indifferent or i'm just ignoring it i'm rejecting it because well how do i know that it's that's the right way to go about this and that's the issue that they're overcoming. But really what it takes um, to start off with, to do that, is to see it from a different perspective. To see that, you know, just choose a path. Just choose a way. Choose one of the alternatives to get to that lovers, you know. Maybe one way will take you quicker. Maybe one way will take you a little bit slower. But, you know, at least start. And I feel like that... That is what they're moving towards. Again, roles can be reversed. All right, we have the Three of Swords and we have the Moon. I also had the Knight of Pentacles pop out here. So yeah, see, so this person, 
because I do feel like it's them. They are getting on the right path. I do feel like it's also, it, this could also be you. Um, you know, just whatever it is that you are processing here when it comes to this person, take it slow, take your time. Because um, it's not easy it, emotions to really um, process. There's a lot of pain, right? That three of swords. And I feel like There's a lot of pain, even for this person, whatever it is that they are trying to, to do here, the way that they are trying to go about it. It's, it's creating a lot of pain for them, or even choosing a path is going to be possibly a little bit painful. I don't think it's going to be as painful as they think it is, because I think that there's a lot of illusions here, especially with the, with the moon here. But I do see them getting on the right path. It's just taking a little bit of time, because what they're doing here is, in the near future, seeing things from a different perspective. Meaning that, yeah, you know, there's pain. It's okay for me to acknowledge my pain, but what I'm seeing from a different perspective is the illusions, not seeing them so distorted anymore. Getting on that right path and start moving forward, even if it's slowly, you know, just at least move in a certain direction. And that's going to happen because these, some illusions will be um, dissolved here once they see things from a different perspective. All right, let's see the Queen of Pentacles. Which is the potential outcome. All right, we have the Seven of Wands, the Knight of Wands, and the Ten of Cups. Yeah, so this is, you know, having to, um, really stand up for oneself. You know, sometimes it takes a lot of effort and it does, it might even take defending oneself in order to get to that 10 of cups, to get to that ultimate happiness. Um, I do see that happening here in the potential outcome. I do see you as well as them finding that stability within your own selves, being able to see things from a more realistic perspective. So I feel like that's what this whole thing is about, this whole reading. Um, moving from that Seven of Cups, and you know, which was that confusion, the illusions, seeing things in a different perspective here with the Hanged Man in the near future, and then finally getting to the Queen of Pentacles, where it's just a more grounded, realistic way of seeing things being more practical. Like you, you know, um, stalling or just being passive is not very practical to getting you to where you need to go or where you want to go. And so this is what I see happening here. I see movement, all right? Now we're picking up the pace here, all right? From the Knight of Pentacles, we're moving on to the Knight of Wands, which is leading straight to that Ten of Cups. All right, now again, might take a little bit of time. Time is fluid, time is relevant. Um, this is the potential outcome. It does not necessarily mean for May. This is just what's going on in May. And this is the potential outcome, you know, for the situation could be in May. Take it as it resonates. And we have the Ace of Swords um, as your final message here, which is all about action. All right, it's action based in truth. So I feel like this is exactly the point that spirit is making in this reading. The illusions are being dissolved, all right? There is clarity and there is truth coming forward and then there is action based off of that. So that's actually pretty positive. It feels like it's just, um, you know, and these, these illusions, you know, a lot of times that's what creates the fears. Fear is an illusion in and of itself anyway. And that, you know, can apply for you as well if you're feeling some fear as to where this is heading. All right, so Sagittarius, this was longer than usual. Um, but if this resonated, let's get your final message. And please do give me a thumbs up if it did. And let's see. All right, we have past life relationship. We also have chemistry. All right, so you have known each other before. You've def this definitely does feel like a past life type of a connection here. Um, you've definitely have had many past lives together. That's how I feel this at least. And there's definitely still chemistry here, all right? There's a strong magnetic attraction, all right, in this relationship. It's still there, in case you were wondering. All right, Sagittarius, those were your messages. Thank you so much for watching and much love.